All right, so next up, IMF publishes Cryptocurrency Explainer, and it's a commercial which is uh, which was pretty amazing to me. Now, if you're new to um, you know cryptocurrency digital assets or even finance, what is the IMF? Well, the IMF itself is an international organization, which already sounds uh, kind of ominous, headquartered in Washington, D.C., consisting of 189 countries working to foster global monetary cooperation, secure financial stability, facilitate international trade, promote high employment and sustainable economic growth, and reduce poverty around the world. So basically what the IMF does is it sets the economic policy for the global economy. So this is a, uh, a pretty big organization, I would say. And what they actually are talking about or are pushing usually pulls a lot of weight. And what are they pushing right now? It's cryptocurrencies. So uh, when I saw this, I was like, well, this is game over. Um, and I'm going to show you why. So let's just scroll down. The IMF tweeted a video explaining what cryptocurrency is on Sunday that instantly went viral, referring to cryptocurrency as a special currency. The two-minute video attempts to outline its benefits, removing middlemen, lowering costs, and increasing transaction speed. So I'm not going to get into the weeds of that. So let's just watch the video and uh, I'll have you make the judgment. When we buy or sell things, the payment is usually processed by a bank or credit card company. Problem number one, the companies often take a cut of the transaction. Two, we have to trust these companies to protect our sensitive data from hackers. Three, most international payments take a long time and are expensive. To solve these problems, we could use a special currency that is secure and based on the science of cryptography, which is a way of protecting information using mathematics. This special type of currency is called a cryptocurrency and only exists in computer networks. When you send someone the special currency, the money goes directly to them, removing the middleman. And at the same time, the transaction is broadcast to the entire network and recorded in a permanent way, which means it's almost impossible to fool the system. Costs of making payments are lower, transactions are faster, especially across countries, and even those people around the globe who don't have bank accounts can buy or sell goods and participate in the global economy. However, there are some risks. The transactions in most cryptocurrencies are anonymous. Some cryptocurrencies can even be untraceable. This can make it easier for the bad guys to make payments without being noticed. If you lose your password, you could lose all your money. At the moment, cryptocurrencies are highly volatile. They can't process large amounts of transactions quickly yet, and they're not even widely accepted. But if we can counter the risks, then this new technology or some variation of it can completely change the way we sell, buy, save, invest, and pay our bills. And who knows, this could be the next step in the evolution of money. Okay, pretty interesting stuff right there. But uh, two things stood out to me. One, they kept talking about special currency, special currency, special currency. And I can tell you right now, uh, the IMF are no slouches. They've probably done a ton of research, a ton of analytics, and they have found the exact phrase that will work to let the uh, entire populace digest easily the type of information that they are throwing out. And this happens throughout all types of marketing, all types of corporations, even up to the highest levels of government. In government, they do all these polls, all this research to find out what is the best way to say certain things so that people will accept them easily. Case in point, uh, years ago, we used to talk about nationalized medicine. Okay, we're gonna have nationalized medicine. In America, we don't have nationalized medicine. Uh, it's all purchased through insurance companies for our health care. So we don't just pay into it. Uh, that is just how uh, health care works in America. So they try to get nationalized medicine and they kept saying that and people hated it because they're like, we're Americans. We're not going to go to something like in Europe or Australia or wherever else. We are this certain way and this is all we want. However, what they did was they did a ton of research and analytics and they said, you know what? Instead of saying that, you know, senator, whoever, or congressman, whoever, you're going to say Medicare for all. It's the exact same thing as far as a nationalized medicine plan uh, or, or nationalized healthcare, 
but just say Medicare for all. And guess what? It went from 10% acceptance to over 60% acceptance when people started to talk about it. Amazing. The exact same thing. So what's happening here with the IMF, they're doing the exact same procedure. And when you start hearing things about special currency, special currency, you're going to hear that term over the next one to three years and you're going to get sick of it. Second thing I found interesting was that they pretty much just laid it out and said, look, this is what we're going to actually push as far as cryptocurrency digital assets. And they are these three things. And it is Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP. Now, look, I don't know why they have these particular ones, but they put it in the commercial. They've alluded to it in different uh, interviews throughout the internet. So these are the big three. And Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, sure, great. Um, I don't know what you are into, um, but I will tell you this. I've invested heavily into Bitcoin, heavily invested in Ethereum. XRP, I used to invest in heavily. I do not anymore. I have my positions, but I got to tell you something. When the International Monetary Fund is is putting out a commercial and they're telling you exactly the three that they're pushing these are something that you might want to look into and maybe carry not financial advice but i gotta tell you imf is in a lot of countries it is global it pushes the economic policy so just something to think about all right that is it for that let's move on to question of the day